Hi everybody, Marco Carbajo here. Today's blog post, we're gonna talk about the difference between a business loan versus a line of credit. For those of you small business owners and just determining what type of financing option you should choose can be kind of confusing if you don't know the difference between the two. So in this uh, blog post, we're gonna talk about some of the major differences between a loan and a line of credit. Now, with a business loan, as you know, that's uh, applying for a loan with a bank or online lender or credit union, a loan is a lump sum of money that gets issued to your business uh, for the specific purpose of whether it's purchasing a large ticket item or you're looking for an influx of cash, but it's a one-time lump sum loan. So your payments start right away. It's a fixed payment, fixed interest rate. Uh, the other thing to understand about a business loan is the fact that the credit requirements are much more stricter compared to a line of credit. Now, as you know, there's different types of loans from SBA back loans, there's, uh, uh, there's secured business loans and unsecured business loans. A secured business loan is when you're going to pledge collateral, which offset the risk for a bank or a lender. So if you're going to pledge like uh, accounts receivable or equipment or inventory or even real estate, those help you in getting approved for a business loan. And also there's unsecured business loans. Now, if you're gonna go with an unsecured business loan, you're not gonna pledge any collateral. So as you know, that's gonna be much more stricter requirements, much more documentation. Uh, you're gonna look at financials, personal and business tax returns, uh, very strict credit requ requirements. Now, one other type of unsecured business loan that doesn't require great credit is more of a, uh, a revenue-based loan. Uh, now, that's specifically based on the deposits of your business. So if you have good cash flow, you can also qualify for an unsecured business loan with bad credit. But that's if your business is doing 10,000 or more a month in deposits. Um, now, with a line of credit, that's very popular because this is not actually money given to you. It actually gives you the access to money. So based on the credit limit issued to you, you have that available whenever you need it. I call it cash on tap. Now there's unsecured lines of credit and there's secured lines of credit. There's traditional and non-traditional. Now with traditional lines of credit, we're talking about going straight to a bank, getting a line of credit at a bank with check writing privileges. Now keep in mind, that type of line of credit is one of the most difficult to obtain. Uh, it also requires a lot of documentation, financials, tax returns. Uh, usually you have to pledge collateral with that, uh, strict credit requirements. And the other downside of a traditional line of credit is the fact that every year you get an annual review. So the bank can actually if they decide to uh, cancel your line of credit, they can convert the balance owed to an actual loan. So that's the downside of a traditional line of credit. Now, uh, with a non-traditional line of credit in the form of, let's say, business credit cards, those are revolving, they're unsecured, and they're usually based just on a, a strong credit profile. So you don't have to pledge collateral, you don't have to provide financials, income verification. So they're much easier to qualify and uh, some type of credit, revolving lines of credit come with uh, basic credit requirements where with our UBF program, we have high limit business credit cards. Uh, and that those credit limits go up to about 150,000 combined total. So if you'd like some more information on that, be sure to go to our site, businessfundingengine.com. Uh, with that, uh, for more information, be sure to read the rest of the post on the difference between a business loan versus a credit line, a line of credit. With that, make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.